Hi guys, this is a video demonstration of three of our Test Electronic 6 inch by 8 inch prober type test fixtures. These three fixtures range from the more simple to the more complex probers. And these are our smallest prober style test fixtures. And what I wanted to show you with this is the different features that are available in all size probers. Uh, and using these small fixtures I can compare them side by side in a video and make it easy to show you. Now this prober here is a single sided prober and it, it just probes a board from one side. You just place the board in here, close the lid and it latches down. To release it you press this latch, it opens up and then you can remove the board, put a new board in and repeat your test over again. Now this, the difference between that one and this one, this is double sided. It works the same way, you press this lever, it releases the top plate. You can take your board out, put a new board in, and test again. Now the difference between this one is it probes the board from both sides. From the bottom and the top. And the top pins are wired over to these buttons which transfer back down to the bottom. So both sides of this board, top and bottom, are accessible from the electronics that you mount inside this fixture. Now these small fixtures might not have that much electronics in them. Most of the time they, can, they just are end up being wired out on a connector on this back panel here. Now the difference between this fixture and this fixture, which is one step up, is there's just a lot more test pins on this fixture. As you see here, there's quite a few test pins on the top and also quite a few on the bottom right here. So what, what we do is we have this lever latch mechanism that multiplies the force 50 to 1 so that your test technician isn't pressing so hard on this fixture lid to close it all day long. Now this still has the same kind of release here so if for some reason the fixture jams up and doesn't open with just the use of the lever latch like this, you can press this button and that will also release it. So that's a basic overview of how these fixtures work. Now let me take the most complicated one and show you a little bit about the insides of this fixture. We can take off the bottom plate and I can show you what's inside there and how you would wire to it uh, either wiring out to the back panel or wiring up to circuit boards you might want to mount inside the fixture. Now in these little 6x8 fixtures there's not that much room to mount too much but you can mount a little circuit board in there and wire off to it and then a connector in this back panel. Now this is a plate that comes out. Uh, they, they remove two screws for me as you can see. I'll remove the other two and show you just what this little plate looks like. Now you just uh, take these two screws out, the plate drops right out the bottom and you can take it out. Now here you can mount connectors, uh, drill holes for banana jacks or BNC's or punch out D connectors. Whatever you want to mount in this you can. And the front plate is exactly the same as this back plate. And to put it back in, you simply put it right in just like this. And put your screw in. Now there's four more screws, but I won't put those in on the video. So, but that's basically how these fixtures come, come apart, get put back together. Uh, also, there's another feature where you can remove the press plate just by pulling out this pin and the press plate comes right out so that you can access all this stuff here and work on it, add more pins, repair it, whatever you need to do. And the press plate just goes right back in just by putting this pin back in and it all is back in alignment again. So that's a basic overview of how our smallest probers work. The larger probers are pretty much the same. Uh, there's a few, there's multi-modules available in the back instead of just one module. Uh, but other than that, it all works the same way. 
If you found this video informative and would like to see more videos like this, there are more available on testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.